Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and today we will learn how to create traffic lights in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created these three beautiful traffic lights in Microsoft Excel and these are totally dynamic and connected with these data points. So if I will change the value of service level, then the light will be changed and the logic of changing the traffic lights is this for we have taken three metrics here service level productivity and sales conversion and this is the performance for all of three metrics and these are the rules if my service level is less than 50 percent then red light will be displayed if service level is 50 to 70 percent then yellow light will be displayed or if service level is greater than 70 percent then a green light will be displayed and similarly for the others here the number is changed okay so uh, let's check if i will take as 80 percent which is greater than 70 percent and that is why service level is displaying in green light and if i will change uh, let's say 60 percent which is uh, between uh, 50 to 70 percent so it is yellow if I will take as 40 then it is red okay friends so I will tell you how can you create this without using of any kind of VBA macro or any picture image and even we will not use any kind of conditional formatting to create this we will use simple shapes and tax boxes and few formulas only okay friends so let's start Let's create a new worksheet here. I'm copying this data and just pasting it here. Now we will use few formulas. Let me zoom it first. So we are copying this and just paste it here. We will use few formula for red, yellow, and green. Here we will use the if condition. So in red for service level we will use if V2 which is my service level performance is less than 50%. Okay because the condition for red is less than 50%. Then in inverted comma we will take a small L. Why a small L I will tell you later uh, so this time we are taking a small l i will tell you how we will use this small l for creating the traffic lines okay friends otherwise value if it is not less than 50 percent then it should be blank okay just close the bracket okay and uh, in the yellow for uh, service level we will put a formula if and here two condition it should be greater than 50 and less than 70 so we will use the and here and we will take v2 is greater than or equal to 50 percent and the second comma second logic which is v2 is less than or equal to 70 percent then it will be a small l otherwise it will be blank just close the bracket okay friends press enter okay we have not closed the end bracket here so let me close this and for green we will put a simple if formula if this value is greater than 70 percent because our condition is above 70 percent okay for green so this value is greater than 70 percent then it is small l otherwise blank and similar formula we will put the below side i am just filling the same formula just select and press ctrl d to fill it down and here we will change the number 
we will edit F3 in this formula and in this we will take 40 in place of 50 because the condition for the red light is uh, less than 40% in productivity and similarly for the yellow we will change the productivity formula 40 to 60 in place of 50 we will take 40 and in place of 70 we will take as 60 and for green we will take uh, above 60 so in place of above 70 we will take as above 60 okay friends and for sales conversion we will change the formula here is less than 20 so in place of 50 we will take as less than 20 and here it will we will take between 20 to 35 so first value should be 20 and the second should be 35 percent and similarly here we will take about 35 percent so we will change 70 to 35 okay friends so our formula is ready so why we have taken this l here i will tell you now we will change the font style here we will take from here this is wingdings and in wingdings uh, font type and the small l is like a dot okay so we will use this dot for creating the lights now we will create the traffic light to creating the traffic light we will use shapes i'm going to the shape first of all we will take uh, this rectangle which is rounded rectangle and just click here we will change the size of this so we'll take the height as 1.4 and the width as 0.5 we will remove the outline as no outline and safe fill as of course black fill we also will change the safe effect and we'll take the shadow and we will take this shadow which is under perspective the first one okay now here we can change the uh, this uh, rounded corner little bit of rounded like this okay friend now we will create the lights so creating the lights we will insert a oval click and click here we will change the size we'll take as 0.4 and here is also 0.4 now we will right click or we can remove the outline from here no outline and right click go to format shape and fill as red and we will take the transparency as 60 percent now we will copy this and we will put it here now copy this shape and paste again and let put it here and paste again and just put it here Now for the uh, second shape we will give the color as yellow and for third we will give the color as green and we should remember the transparency for all the uh, lights should be 60% okay which is already there okay friends so now what we will do we will make this group as control A and right click and make it good. Now just keep it here, make the copy of this and just keep it here, make another copy and just keep it here. You can select all of three all together and we can align it as middle and even we can distribute it vertically equally. Now we will insert a word art and we will take this one which is the fill gray 50 percent accent three click and we will change the text as service level and the size we will take core size 15 and the font we will take as Arial just keep it here make a copy of this and keep it here another copy and keep it here 
we will change the tax as productivity the second one third is sales conversion okay uh, now we will remove the grid lines and headings now what we will do uh, we will insert a tax box insert a tax box okay now click on this and select press equal to select first one which is f2 even you not to be on the heading or uh, let me format this so go to the format save fill as no fill save outline as no outline and now what we will do we will change the font as 40 and we can keep it here or even we can take the font size as 45 we will take the font color as uh, red okay now go to the format and under format go to the text effects and go under glow and take this one which is the red one and just keep it here like this and make the copy of this copy and paste it here and make another copy and paste it here so for the second one which is our productivity the red range will be f3 so we will change as f3 and for this we will take as f4 now what we will do we will select this one and go to the format painter and click here select format painter and click here so find the this light is not displaying because of the uh, F3 is not in red so uh, productivity is not in red it is in blue if, if we will change the productivity value let's say uh, less than 40% is 30% then the red, uh, red light will be displayed here similarly we will uh, create the yellow light so we will copy this and paste it here okay so first of all we will change the link so let me change the value here so that we can highlight the yellow light i'm taking let's say 60 and for this i'm linking as g2 okay now we can take the format from here so it is currently red we will change the Font color from here as yellow we also need to change the yellow color from tax effect we will take the yellow color as yellow so it has been created just copy it and paste it here make another copy and paste it here so this uh, first service level yellow light is linked with the G2 which is this and for productivity it will be g3 and sales conversion it will be g4 so first of all i'm changing the value so that uh, my actual uh, yellow light can be displayed i'm taking this as uh, let's say 45 and this as uh, let's say 25 okay so all yellow light is highlighting now i'm taking this as g3 and this sorry as g4 okay now we will take the format painter from here and click here format painter from here and click here okay so yellow light has been created now we will create the green light to creating the green light first let me copy this and let me put it here we will change the font color as green this one and we need to change the glow color also so tax effect we will take or first we need to link this so let me
let me change the color as 90 now we will link this with the uh, h2 which is the green for service level we can take format from here and paste it change the uh, tax, effect, tax effect kilo as green sorry here yeah, green and the font color as let's check yes now we can make the copy of this copy and put it here copy and put it here we can change the linking for this h2 and this would be h3 and this should be H4. Now select this green one and take the format went. So friends, your traffic lights has been created. Now what we will do, we will take the actual value from here, copy, or whatever the performance value, your actual value, you can link from there and paste it here. So it's working, you can check any light now if we want to put it in green then we can take it as 40 it is in green now we can select this data and go to the format sales uh, right click and go to the format sales and here we will go to the uh, number and custom number format and here we will remove the journal and put three times semicolon Okay, so this tax has been hidden. Now traffic light is ready. So friends, that is how you can create create the traffic lights in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for the watching.